Shalom everyone, I would like to share with you today um, a little bit of an idea that the Nisiva Shalom brings um, that that really corresponds to something that I've been trying to to understand and to to share and the Ramchal also speak about it. So what I'm talking about is the fact I'm talking about the different holidays of the year. What's happening is that the way we experience it is we go and we say, we do Rosh Hashanah, so, oh, it's New Year, it's great. And we have Yom Kippur, and then you have Sukkot, and Pesach, and so each holiday, we get involved in it, and we, we go in it fully, like, we really do the mitzvahs of the days, and, you know, and then it's like, okay, see you next year. How many times during the year do you really feel connected to the holiday of the year that, you know, that has happened before. And why do we have those holidays? Because in Judaism, we know we're not here to commemorate something all from the past. Um, Rabbi also Kesin inspired me to, to, to say like, something like that. And he brings the Ramcha, obviously. And the idea is that what, what we're celebrating, we're celebrating a light that happened at on that at that moment in the calendar, but it, it, that light, that energy, a specific sphere, a specific strength, a specific yeah, energy came down into this world that enabled us to connect to that energy, and because we're able to connect to that energy, to that principle, to that concept, to that force, to that teaching, we are uh, we, we, something happened. Something happened. We're about to time into it and transformation came, a lesson. So we have basically eight major holidays. The, the six from the Torah and two the Rabbanan, Purim and Hanukkah. And each one is here to give us the tools. It's like you have eight medicine, eight vitamins for the whole year. But what does that mean? Does that mean that once I understand the concept of what that vitamin do, I should be able to use that every moment of the year. It's not that we're just remembering that moment in the year that has happened, meaning there's two things. One is when that moment comes, I'm able to literally tap again into that vitamin and swallow it and use that vitamin to its fullest. So for example, Pesach, you know, is a time of freedom we're learning to be free what it means to be free free from the symptom free from society free from the influence free from not being attached to Hashem free from the body's limitations and free as a people free free you know so we are able at that moment to increase our sense of freedom, our sense of, um, of, of, of unlimited potential to be connected to God. And therefore, um, I'm going to be able to experience a level of freedom that more, more powerful than any time during the year. But, but it doesn't stop there. So we're coming close to Hanukkah. And on Hanukkah, there's a peel, just like on Pesach, have the peel, the medicine, the vitamin for freedom. On Hanukkah, I have the vitamin for um, be able to deal with the secular world, with the influence of the secular world, the 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 beauty the danger of the beauty of the sciences of the world, it's the darkest moment of the year, whatever the Greek were, the choshech that they were bringing, I'm going to be able to use that vitamin. Whenever, for example, we are in a secular world, we, you know, I can be going in a, in, to college, and in college there are going to be some secular influence that might affect my way how to look at the world uh, I need to look at the world with the eyes of the Torah. So how do I know I'm not deceived? And 
I, to the point that I will lose clarity on how I look at the world, I will enter into a darkness. So therefore, I need to be able to look at those branches of the menorah, that light, that that light really comes, that even mathematics or science or, or astronomy are things that really come of the old other language, right? The 70 language, seven branch, 70 language that comes from the Hebrew. All those languages, yeah, they may be tame to talk. They're secular. I really should be talking only Hebrew. But I understand that those languages come from the Hebrew. I understand those science come from Judaism. Seven major science, says Rabbi, Rabbi Eli Munk. And therefore, I'm going to be able during the year at moments when I'm reading a book and it's a secular book, I'm going to take the vitamin, the Chanukah vitamin, where I'm, I'm going to ask Hashem to allow me to have the clarity not to be fooled by the nonsense or the shaker of, of what I'm reading and only to see the beauty that is good and that actually is also rooted in the Torah, that comes from the Torah. You know, yesh chokma bagoim. So there is yesh chokma. There is wisdom, and that wisdom comes from the Torah. So I want to be able to reconnect the wisdom, a, a, a good wisdom, not a perverted wisdom. So that's that's a, that that that's the idea. That's the concept. I'm just trying to give an example. Hanukkah is not a class on Hanukkah, but um, Sukkot is the celebration. Is the vitamin of imagination. I can use that the whole year whenever I'm, you know, praying or whenever I'm living my life and, you know, I feel how I'm so far. But really, you can start using your imagination and in those idle moments or you're bored. You can use the, the Sukkot vitamin and use it to um, really connect no, no, use your imagination, use your intellect to to look at the world through the eyes of the Torah or to imagine positive things, to imagine... Well, we know the Yitzhah attacks us in the level of imagination, so, so I, the moment I have the Yitzhah attacking me, oh, I'm going to take the Sukkot pill that will gonna help me imagine, understand the power of imagination and start imagining positive things or Torah things instead of negative things. Same thing when I feel I'm 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 stuck in a in a pattern, I can use the pill, the Rosh Hashanah pill. Rosh Hashanah, where I can renew myself. Oh, it will be more the Rosh Chodesh pill, but that will be it's not really a holiday. But Rosh Hashanah is kind of the first Rosh Chodesh, so they goes together. Um, I, I'm I'm going to judge myself and in my celebration of renewal of potential that yes there's a judgment but I can renew myself start from scratch and not stay in the old pattern so I take the Rosh Hashanah pill so we have to be have a clarity of those eight weapons those eight vitamins that I can use during the rest of the year so I think that's something very valuable very valuable lessons it helps us approach the holy days you know, in a very different way, and it pushes us to search, okay, what is the vitamin that I can use for the rest of the year? But more important, it, it, it helps us, we, we, we have to get used to the idea that I, I have that in my backpack, I can use that any, any time that I need. Um, it's not, it's, we, we don't necessarily think like that. I don't, people don't think much like that. You have a struggle during your day. You know, I don't know how to deal with my boss. I don't know how to deal with my financial situation. I don't know to, how to deal with my relationship. I don't know how to do, deal with my lack of limuna and bitachon. Well, guess what? This vitamin for all that. And you have eight different vitamins that you were given, eight different tools that you can use to fix that that's why we have the holy day and applies every day of the year so i hope that was a lesson you enjoyed i want to thank my wife to allow me to have the time to teach to others without her i wouldn't be able to so it's in all in her merit thank you everyone and
to be continued with more incredible things to come.